in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the area of compound shapes. Now remember area is just the space inside the shape. And a compound shape, well, they look a bit like this. They look like difficult shapes, okay, but we can actually split, split them up into easier looking shapes like I've done here. So we've got a triangle plus a rectangle. So that's a, an example of a compound shape. So to work this one out, I'm going to first of all work out the area of the rectangle here. So hopefully you already know how to work out the area of a rectangle. It's base times height. So the base here is 10 and the height of this rectangle is 4. So it's just 10 times 4 for the rectangle, which is 40 centimetres squared. Remember the units are always squared for area. So here we've got a triangle. So the formula to work out the area of a triangle is a little bit different. We have to do base times height divided by two. So the base of this triangle is also 10. The height of this triangle, well, we haven't actually been given the height. We have to calculate the height, okay? And because we know that this total height is nine, and this height here is four, well it means the height of the triangle must be five centimeters. So the height is five. And then for a triangle, we always have to divide by two when calculating the area. So 10 multiplied by five is 50, and 50 divided by two is 25. So there's the area of the triangle. So all that's left to do is to add those two answers together, okay? Because remember, we're working out the area of this entire shape. So we have to add the rectangle to the triangle. So the final step is just to add 40 and 25 together, which gives me 65 centimeters squared. Okay, so there's the first one. Now, down here we've got more than one way of doing this, this question. I'm just going to split this funny looking compound shape into two different rectangles. So remember just from before, the formula to work out area of a rectangle is base multiplied by height. So I can automatically work out the area of this big rectangle here because the base of this rectangle is given at the top, it's 12, and the height of this rectangle is six. So if I multiply those numbers together, I get 72, not forgetting the units, this time it's meters, so we've got meters squared. So there's, there's the first part of this compound shape. Now I need to work out the area of this rectangle down here. So I know the base, but I haven't been given the height of this rectangle, but I can calculate it fairly easily because this height is 10, this one is six, which means this one must be four meters because four plus six gives me 10. So now I can calculate the area. And again, it's just base times height. So the base is five and the height is four. And if I multiply those together, five times four is 20. And not forgetting the units, meters squared. So just like before, remember to add those areas together, okay, to work out the overall area. So we've got 72 plus 20, which is 92 meters squared. Okay. So this compound shape up here, I can split it up into a rectangle, which is on the left hand side there, and a semicircle, so just half a circle. So the area of a rectangle, well we know how to do that, is just base multiplied by height. So the base of this rectangle is 14, the height is 11, so we can just multiply those to begin with, which is 154 centimeters squared. So we've done the rectangle already. Now, here we've got half a circle. Well, remember, to work out the area of a full circle, it's pi multiplied by the radius squared. Well, the radius of this circle, well, we haven't been given the radius, but we do know the diameter. The diameter is over here, it's 11 centimeters. Remember, the radius is half the diameter, 
So it's this distance here, which is 5.5, because that's half of 11. So to work out the area of what would be that whole circle, we would do pi times 5.5 squared, okay? But that gives us the whole circle. But since this is only half a circle, we need to half this answer. So we need to divide it by 2. Okay, so pi times the radius squared divided by 2 will give me the area of that half circle. So the last step, well, you can work that out, but then the last step is to add those two answers together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into the calculator all in one go, and I'm going to write in 154 plus, and now I'm going to type in that fraction. So I've got pi multiplied by 5.5 squared over 2, which gives me, if I round to three significant figures, it gives me 202 centimetres squared. All right, so for this compound shape down here, we're just working out the area of this part here, okay? So not that space in the middle. So remember what those dashed lines mean. It means they're all the same length. So this is a square and so is this small one inside. So remember, to work out the area of a square is just base times height. So to work out the area of just that green shaded part, okay, that shape there, we need to work out the area of this big square, but we need to minus that small square inside because we don't want this area here. It's just the green part that I've shaded there. So to work out the area of that big square there, remember it's just base times height, so we're doing 10 multiplied by 10. But then we need to subtract that small circle and not circle, that small square. So we're doing base times height again, which is 5 multiplied by 5. And now I can calculate. Well, 10 times 10 is 100. And 5 times 5 is 25. And so 100 take away 25 is 75. So the answer is 75 metres squared for the last one. Okay, so there you go. Compound shapes. They're actually not that difficult. So when you get presented with a shape, a really tricky looking shape like that, just break it down into simple shapes like rectangles, squares, triangles, okay? Because it's not as hard as you think. So make sure you know all the formulae off by heart to work out the area of squares, rectangles, triangles, trapeziums, circles, okay? Because you need to know those in order to work out these compound shapes. So that's all from me for today and goodbye.